Right, so let's play Bug Fables finally. We're in the middle of Rubber Island, so we're going to finish that up. Uh, maybe we can do some side quests, or maybe we can start the next chapter, which I believe will be the final chapter. I think we're on the penultimate chapter at the moment, which is chapter 7 or 6. So we're getting closer to the end of the game, and as of today, uh, Mario Party, the Origami King, comes out in two weeks. So I'm going to see if I can get this game finished sooner rather than later. I've been putting off finishing this game sooner, admittedly. I've been playing this game very little, like, compared to other games. Like, I mean, that's not... How do I explain it? It's like, I've been playing this game a lot, like, we're on part 12, right? It's just the amount, of the frequency that I play this game is very low. Like, I don't play this game very frequently. But I did stream this game just the other day and we're playing it again, so here we go. So I have to go to the cafeteria now, I believe. I think. Oh yeah, the cafeteria is this way. That's right. I just remembered. You guys can see this, right? Yeah, you can see that. I'm just checking OBS to make sure that that's displaying. What the fuck? Just giant boulders of death. I think I need to go back to that computer room and raise the tables. I think the game forgot that I did that. Fine, the computer room! I don't have that on my soundboard. I had that Eggman soundbite that I played during Animal Crossing, but I don't have the, the Vector the Crocodile computer room clip, which is also from Shadow the Hedgehog, funnily enough. Oh, wait a minute. They were already down to begin with? Okay then, I, I thought the tables could go higher than that. I guess they're supposed to be like this. Right, so never mind. I guess they were always like that then. It's funny because in the in the the monitor it doesn't look like they're going that high up, but it turns out they're higher than where the, they were before. Ouch. Not really sure where to what to do here. Oh, there's a spring back there, I didn't see that. Right, okay then. So I think we're getting close to the boss now. I've done like maybe a little over half of this dungeon. Again, still somehow figured out that I could like dodge that multiple times. Wrong button. Oh, wait a minute. I, I don't need to... I failed my input so he's not blocking it so I can use V to finish or to, like, do damage. I 
I think I'm close to leveling up as well. No. I mean, I've still got a decent amount of experience for that. I could probably level up within the next 20 minutes if I keep fighting the wasps. Right, well that gets rid of the... I don't even know what the fuck I was being filed. Was it like cannonballs or was it like food? I mean, we're in the cafeteria, so... I guess the whole point in this room was just to find that history book, so I wonder if that's all of them now. I'm trying to remember where the library was. I think it was like on the second floor. I'm looking over at my PlayStation 4 right now because it's like doing some file transfer stuff. So basically what's happening with my PS4 is for a good while now I've had a 2 terabyte external hard drive, right? But I keep finding that I'm running out of space and I don't want to like delete shit because my, my internet takes fucking forever to download games and games are getting bigger and bigger these days. Like there's games that are like over 100 gigabytes now. So I ended up investing in a 5 terabyte external hard drive and I started basically moving stuff over but the problem is there's no easy way to like directly transfer stuff from a two terabyte to a five terabyte and the playstation 4 doesn't accept more i mean it can you can plug in two externals but you can only have one activated at any given time so what i've been doing is i've been i activate the two terabyte i transfer like 300 to 400 gigabytes worth of stuff off of it to the internal storage and then I activate the 5 terabyte, and then I have to like transfer all that stuff from internal to 5 terabyte, and basically rinse and repeat until everything is from the 2 terabyte to the 5 terabyte. So it's a bit of a, a roundabout way to do things. Also, I don't think this is the library. Sorry, I, I couldn't really play there because I was like trying to explain something. But um, yeah, basically, it's taking its time, but it's better than like re downloading all that shit again because downloading almost two terabytes worth of data is going to take me weeks to do with my internet. So yeah, time consuming, but not as time consuming as like re-downloading games. I'm pretty much on the cusp of finishing transferring stuff. I've got like one more thing to transfer after I'm done with this one. But yeah, right now I'm transferring 44 smaller games. Like I, I transferred all the biggest stuff first, like the 150, like 30 to 50 to 100 gigabyte stuff, like all that stuff I did first. Now it's like the smaller, like, less than 20 gigabyte games that I'm moving over. And that's going to take like two hours, apparently, so that's roughly how long I'm going to be streaming this for anyway. Two to three hours. See, that's why I wanted to get that stuff prepped before I stopped playing this game, just so, so that I would be doing that while I'm passing the time. A blue book found in the rubber prison. It says, ah, the kingdom of Bulgaria. Many explorers gather here. So wait a minute. Ah, shit. Okay, well, I know for sure now that I've got all the books because it told me that nothing happened when I put in the fourth book rather than asking for a fifth book. So I have to figure out what the order is so that... Let's see. Uh, the Kingdom of Bulgaria. Many explorers gather here. The Ant Queen and her daughters came searching for... The Everlasting Sapling, a relic granted internal life. Although it hasn't been found, many are looking for it in the name of the Ant Queen. So I think it's blue, then green, then yellow, then red. So blue, green, yellow, red. Ah shit, too slow. 
Sorry, I didn't get that soundboard thing prepped quick enough there. You found a wooden crank. A wooden crank, it should fit in a slot somewhere to control nearby mechanisms. Where did I see that before? Was that in the gym? Actually, hang on a second, it might be down here. Yeah, <laughs> this way. That's convenient. There we go. I have the sound ready that time. That aha moment. Uh oh. I think we're coming up to a boss now. You can tell because Venus and a safe point are right next to each other. Everyone, the Wasp Kingdom is up ahead. Oh, there's... Did they say king or kingdom? Sorry, I, I didn't read that right. Such poor defenses. This is to be expected from those ants. Stop right there, you're done. How many times must I knock you down before you learn? Third time's the charm, eh? I don't have time to deal with this vermin. Ultimax! Uh oh. What in the Sideway Bee Stinger is that? Oh, that's cheating! My king, I am here to carry out your will! Oh god, it's this guy again, the one that fucking pretends he's tough, but he's not really. Make it quick and painful to not let anyone cross this door! Let's follow his advice quick and painful! Your journey ends here at the hands of General Ultimax. Okay, I'm getting some Paper Mario vibes right now from this boss, like General Shy Guy from 64. Because of the big tank. Right, okay, so let's um, inspect. Uh, let me move the game window over a little bit, hang on. Right, okay. We will not be intimidated by your advanced weaponry. You cannot stop us, 70 HP. My horn can still pierce through. For Bulgaria, I will take this thing down. Hmm. deals piercing damage. Press the button shown for the command to succeed. I don't think I've tried this attack yet for V. Alright. Two turns until the two at the back get hit. Right, okay, so it's gonna hit the two at the back regardless of who switches. Not sure if I can freeze this thing. Nah, probably doesn't work. Shit. Doesn't give you a lot of time to react to that.
Where did the other two disappear to? Oh, there they are. That was weird. Did you see that? At least when I got the bubble shield on, I don't have to worry about timing my button presses. I can just let the game defend for me. was going to be the B button. I pressed A. Or, uh, sorry, I, I, I thought it was going to be the B button, but I, I, oh, whatever. I pressed B, but it was A. Yeah, sorry, I thought it was always going to be the B button, but I guess it changes. That, that was a bit annoying. Shit. Yeah, I don't want to die now. I don't want to fucking waste all my, my revival seeds like I did the last time. got a new V ability. Uh, which one is that? Wait, you mean this one? Right, so this time it's just going to focus on on um, Kaboo. So it's going to, like, I could just tank this one for Kaboo. see so both went to him right okay I guess that makes sense
just considering my options right now. Yeah, let's just do Frigid Coffin again then. I don't think it freezes, but it does a decent amount of damage, so I'll take that. Right, well the cannons are destroyed now at least. That secret stash is really useful. some more TP. TP for my bunghole. Oh yeah, did anybody hear that uh, Beavis and Butthead is coming back? Like, I think Comedy Central is like going to be doing a couple new seasons for it. I've never seen much of the original run of Beavis and Butthead, but I have seen the movie Beavis and Butthead Do America. That movie is uh, fucking hilarious. I need to watch that again. It's so good. But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with Beavis and Butthead because it's like I think this is the first time Beavis and Butthead's going to be, like, coming back outside of MTV, because I think MTV had, like, a couple new seasons, like, a few years back, and then it got cancelled again. But yeah, no, it's coming back, and uh, Mike Judge, the creator, is, like, uh, going to be working on, like, writing new episodes. So that's cool. But yeah, um, let's uh, try to finish this thing off. Not sure what to do at this moment. I guess maybe Bubble Shield would be a good thing to do because that's going to charge me. All oh, right, I can't, I can't attack the thing behind. Thing. Oh, so it can still charge me anyway. Even when it's not buffed. I mean, I guess it can't fire out of its cannon thing anymore, so yeah. yeah let's, let's keep doing Frigid Coffin then, because I seem to do a decent amount of damage. I think like 6 damage, if I do it successfully. Oh no, 4 damage. There's no. I, I thought it was like 2 beforehand, but I guess not. Still a decent amount of damage, though, all things considered. Like, this is a very... A tanky boss. I mean, it's a tank, so... I hope I get a flying enemy to replace this one so that um, I can focus on the, in the the boss with Kaboo. Because Kaboo couldn't attack it directly because that fucking enemy was in the way. A little bit too slow there. Always because it's buffed, that's why. All those Jade Stews are coming in handy right now. That's why I had so many of them. Still does a lot of damage that.
I don't think the boomerang is going to do any damage, but I'll try it anyway. Okay, well, at least it does one damage. I was honestly expecting it to be zero with the boomerang. Right, nice, we got a flying enemy. We can finish this next turn. Oh shit, why did I target that? Whoops, fuck. I think I can still finish it next turn, but that, that, actually, no, probably not now. That, that was, that was a stupid thing that I just did there. Why did I do that? Uh, no, that's not gonna work. God damn it. I aimed for the fucking wrong target with V. That was a, my mistake there entirely. But it's flying again now, so maybe I can finish it this turn, maybe. Oh yeah, no, we can finish it this turn. There we go. We got this. That was close. No, my Ultimax tank, how could you? Boom. Wow, really? You're still alive? Oh shit. I completely forgot about those. Okay, so we're not quite done yet. It's not over yet, brother. Shite. No time to be fucking up now. Yeah, Kabu can take point. Yeah, I think we got this. Just had to buff myself a little bit or like increase my health because I was very low there. I can buy some more Jade Stews. I've got a bunch of uh, berries now. Unless he pulls like some one hit KO bullshit, I think we got this. I mean, you've got to give him an A for effort, though. Like, he's he's fucking trying. He's just trying very poorly. Wanted to finish that one off in style. Only 25 experience? You think I would get like double that? No, you won't pass! No one can pass! Knock it off, you already lost! No one will pass! Those are the king's orders! I have to follow the king's orders! I must follow! This isn't normal. That wasp in the kingdom said everyone had gone nuts. Could this one be controlled too? Just let us pass! You will have to crush my body! Or I could just freeze you, I guess. That works. That king employs such a distaste employs such distasteful tactics. Let's leave this poor guy to the Ant Kingdom. Indeed, let's secure the area so that reinforcements can come in. Then we'll have to give swift chase. I will send the signal. Oh ho, the cavalry's here. Aren't you glad? Great work clearing the way, Team Snakemouth. Yeah, it's going to be smooth sailing from here. But we cannot celebrate just yet. The Wasp King is brutally powerful. He's going to pay for bruising you. Muh, muh. 
yeah, that weird thing in the foreground there with the, the red V, I think that's what said Mama. Indeed, but for now, we're fortunate to have gotten this far. Are we sure it's alright for everyone having come? Queen Bianca has gracefully offered to protect the Ant Kingdom where we fulfil this mission. Well, I thought she was super pacifist. Can't reason with a mad bug. My knights and trusted explorers, make your final preparations. We venture into Giant's Lair, no bugs lands. None have returned for it. We have no legends, no way to know what's... We have no legends, no way to know what's inside. But if we do not face this challenge, we don't deserve tomorrow's freedom. Let us pay, pray to Venus and charge. What a magnificent rally. I'm pumped up. She's come far, hasn't she? Even if you were moved, eh, Leaf? Time to kick some butt! It's time Bulgaria will be safe today, but I too will reclaim my people. Let's go! Idols first! Right, so I'm going to backtrack a little bit because I need to repurchase my supplies. How many berries have I got? Yeah, that should be enough, I think. Might as well talk to some of these guys. Team Snakemouth, there's nothing left to say as my orders are clear. But thank you for escorting me through the Forsaken Lands. Thank you, our Queen, for making the journey. It's thanks to you that we got the submarine. It was my duty and honour. I hope that you're... You will escort me once more. Count on it! Is that a quick travel point over there? Oh yeah, I think that's a quick travel point. Right, cool. Yeah, let me use Venus real quick. Is Venus... Wait, where is Venus? I thought Venus was right here. Right, well, I'll just, I'll just save then and, like, kill when I go back to Ant Kingdom. What's in this room? Oh, it's a shortcut. Oh yeah, this is like the starting point, isn't it? Yeah, let's go back to Ant Kingdom then so I can make my final preparations. So it's a red symbol with like three pillars. Yeah, so that's all the quick travel points now. Trying to remember where I saw the 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 healing seeds, the revive seeds. Oh wait, I don't need those, I didn't use any. Yeah, I'm gonna go restock on supplies then. Where was Jade, uh, Jade with the Jade Stew? Was that the Golden Settlement or was that the Defiant Route? I forgot where I saw her. Oh, there she is. That should do me for now, I think. Off to Defiant Route now, so I can buy some of those ice creams. The honey ice creams. There is one on Metal Island, but you didn't get it. I might buy another Revive Seed, possibly. I'm not entirely sure yet. Here's Defiant Route. I hope I have enough berries to cover the cost of these ice creams that I need to buy.
so yeah, I've been talking a lot about how I'm looking forward to Origami King, and the more I hear about it, the more... Like, I, I want to keep my expectations tempered because I don't want to be disappointed, because God knows Color Splash and Sticker Star especially have disappointed me. Having said that, from what I've seen so far, the more I hear about Origami King... Also, what's going... What's going on with that sprite back there? You see that? Is that is that projection? Oh, that's a projector, right? Okay. I thought that was like a genuine glitch going on there, but no, that's like a projection image. But yeah, the more I hear about it, the more I'm excited about it. Are you going to do the cards battle after this? Uh, where is that again? But let me show you something real quick. I showed this on stream the other day, but I'm going to show it again because it's kind of relevant. So. I think in relation to uh, Bug Fables, let me just look for it real quick, it's in this folder somewhere. There it is, right, okay, so in relation to Bug Fables, I think this is how I feel about the Origami King at the moment. Like, there's a, a meme image that I put together in my spare time. So you know that distracted boyfriend meme? So that's basically me looking at Origami King and Bug Fables is not happy about it. So, so yeah, that's kind of how I feel right now. I, I want to play Origami King, it looks so good. Like, I know it's not going to be everything that I want from, like, it's not going to be like a true return to form, but it looks like it's going to be a good game on its own merits. And I think at this point I'm okay with that. It looks like they're trying with this next game. Also, I don't know if anyone heard, but they did mention in a developer interview recently that the game's going to be more open world focused. And basically what that means is, instead of being like chapter based, where you have to like go chapter to chapter, location to location, you basically can go to any location you want to start with. Which is going to be really interesting, and all the party members that you have are like, I think, tied to each area of the game. Like, cause if you look at some of the screenshots, you'll see that like, Bowser Jr. is like in the forest. And then you've got like, bob -omb and like, the high mountains, like stuff like that. So yeah, you'll have party members, but they're not going to be like... You're not going to have like a full list of party members, it's like one for each area, I guess, of the game. But I guess that kind of mixes it up a little bit. I'm fine with that as well, as long as we get like party members to back us up. One near the block of the path to Snake Mouth and one in the Golden Settlement City. One in the desert in the beehive. Wrong door. Right, so this is the beehive, isn't it? Do you remember which room it's in? Oh dear, what to do? Okay, I can do this. Here goes. What's up? Can I help you? Don't know. Can you? Tell us your issue and we'll see. I thought buying a house in the Ant City would be great, but I didn't enjoy it at all. I just get too homesick for, from, for the amazing Bee Kingdom. I don't know what to do with it now. Homesick, huh? I understand how you feel. Uh, that sucks. C can we help? Are you interested in this house? It's right in the main plaza. You mean the red house near the inn? We could use a place. Yeah, how about 150 berries for it? Goodness, the housing market's gotten rough. Wouldn't blame me if you don't want it. It's nothing compared to here. We... well, think about it. Shame I don't have that money anymore. Is there an easy way to make money in this game? It's in HB's lab. So wait, where is the card thing then? It's not this, is it?
It's the bee that's holding the papers, so I have to talk to them a second time then. Nope. I guess I'm not ready to do that then. Right, okay. Let's see if I can find a place where I can get some more berries. Also, I think I'm starting to drop frames right now. I'm looking over at OBS. What is this? Glasses? Oh yeah, this is where I got my, my Beamerang thing. I dropped a few frames there, but I think it's fine now. Shit. When it comes to these rotating areas, I have a bad sense of direction, but I think we're going this way. I'm going to see if I can find like, a quick way to make money so that I can get 150 berries to buy that key to the house. Because I think I know which house they're talking about. There's like a, a lock in front of it. Like I've walked by that house so many times. I just need to figure out a quick way to make money to like get that. Either I can just like grind for it I can, or I can do like, a side quest that pays a good amount of money. But I, I don't know which the quickest way to do this. Beat the one near the blocked path at, to Snake Mouth. Remind me how to get there again because I don't remember. But yeah, the house I'm thinking of... Hold that thought for a second. The house I'm thinking of is this one. Pretty sure the, the key's gonna open that. Check it out, there's some new quests of... <coughs> Excuse me. Let me take a drink of water, my throat's getting dry. Sorry about that. Right, so yeah, check it out, new quests available. Take keys to the explorers area. Right, so does it tell me if I get rewards? Uh, those who help will be rewarded greatly. I just want to see if I can... Does it not tell you how much you get rewarded for completing a side quest? Something went wrong in the honey factory power plant located in the Golden Settlement. Requesting assistance from any available explorers from the investigation. Those who help would be greatly rewarded. Yeah, let's let's try this then, sure. I'll do that card thing in a bit. Unless I get money for doing that, do I? There's one you need to talk to the Queen Bee about the power plant investigation. Ah, uh, V, I humbly commend you for your service at the factory. It was no problem. I hope this incident doesn't make you dread coming home again. No, seriously, it's super fine. Oh, I'm glad, V. I hope you can reconcile with everyone soon. Yeah, I'm uh, working on it. Gotta go. The power plant is at the Golden Settlement. Are we not in the Golden Settlement right now? Or am I... Am I making mistakes again? 
I thought by power plant they meant this factory, but I guess that's not the case. Yeah, th I think I took the wrong turn at Albuquerque then. Right, let's go back. I'm going to need directions to the power plant again because I forgot what that was. Oh shit. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm, r I'm rushing things now and I'm making all kinds of mistakes. Don't know if I'm going to start that giant, the, the giant slayer thing tonight because I think that's the end game pretty much. And I don't know how long that goes on for. So we'll do some side quests and some side stuff and then maybe I'll think about either continuing or maybe do that next time. Yeah, so I'm, I'm dropping, I'm not, I'm not dropping a ton of frames, but I am noticing I'm dropping a little bit here and there. Let me reduce the bit rate to try and mitigate that somewhat, one second. I'm not going to restart the stream, at least I don't want to. I'm just going to instead lower the bit rate a little bit. Set that to 950 kilobits. Right, pixel's going to look a little bit crustier, but it, hopefully it won't be dropping as many frames as it is. Oh, wrong way. Professional gamer. Professional gamer! To the west of the Golden Settlement. Right, I'll do that then. I always get Golden Settlement and Defiant Root mixed up. I guess it's because they both have like yellowish like colour schemes. Like this one's more orange, but the logos are like very yellow looking. I think I could just steal these berries. Did you bring me some clear water? Uh, sure. Wait, what? Oh, c come on. You gotta be kidding me with that shit, really? I, I just give away that for nothing. I mean, I guess if I give her enough, I get something, but still. I was expecting immediate, like, immediate payment, but I didn't, so that that's, a that's annoying. So you said it's power plant is at the west at the city of the Golden Settlement. Well, I went west and it didn't lead anywhere. You'll have to be more specific. I'm going to go buy another clear water. Oh, there's clear water. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. How much are these three berries each? I'm gonna do this this clear water thing, maybe I'll get something good from it. I guess if I give her enough I get something in return. It better be worth it. it better be lots of berries, because look how many berries she's got fucking hoarding here. Right, that's just what I needed, thanks for the help. No problem. Will this medal be good enough reward that's only caused me trouble? A heavy sleeper medal. The equipped ally won't be woken by attacks. Being asleep halves the damage and heals more each turn. Hmm. Not sure if I'm going to use that one. I mean, I could see that being useful if you know what to do with it, but... Probably not going to be using that one myself. There's a bee guard where the power plant is. Right, let me go organise my inventory now, because I now need to take those revival seeds out of storage.
So you said there's a bee god. I'm not, I'm not sure if I saw that. Oh, here it is. Right, okay. Honey factory power plant ahead. Only authorised bugs allowed. Right, let me go save real quick and then we'll do this side quest. Ah, uh, so you're the ones that took the investigation request, right? Go right on then. Oh, there's a safe point in here anyway. V, you're the one helping us? The door's locked. Guess we're stuck here until a technician opens it. It seems problems never stop popping up for us to fix. Drat, that code 32 al alert locked down the door and I can't remember how to open it. It's got something to do with all these switches, you think you can figure it out? Oh god, it's one of these puzzles, oh shit. Um. Never been good at these kind of puzzles. Oh, wait a minute, I have this one now. Right, there we go. V, what is this machine? That's the energy converter. It, uh, converts all the energy. That's a very helpful description, V. It must use the power generated from the windmills to power the factory's core. Uh, yep, that's what the power plant does. It's no wonder that many bees visit the Golden Settlement for the festival. The winds here play a big part in creating delicious honey. Guess it's what the Bee Kingdom asked Elizant for control of this place. Elizant. Everyone's... Everyone won because she didn't cling to her territory. Bees won the most because we get to make so much honey. Uh, this hole wasn't supposed to be here. Maybe it's what caused the alarm? We should prepare before we go ahead. Oh god, I, I smell an optional boss fight. Right, let me save real quick. Eggs? Is this what caused the lockdown? What's that feeling in the air? Yep, optional boss fight. A giant midge? It's overflowing with electricity. It's gonna pay for causing so much trouble. I'm not sure if these optional boss fights like scale up depending on your level or if it's like gonna be super weak. Also, I forgot to heal. Shite. Okay. I knew I forgot to do something, I'm going to reload the game. I need to go to the end first before I do that. Sorry guys. I, I knew I forgot to fucking do something before I went in there. I just didn't think about it before I went in. I bought all my items but I didn't heal myself, so that wasn't going to go well. We can just pretend that didn't happen. Let me go to the inn. There's an inn over here in the Golden Settlement, isn't there? Oh, so I see that guy with the crystal berry. I'm not going to bother with that. Yeah, there is an inn. 
Let's go into the inn then. Wait, is the inn upstairs? Oh yeah, that's right, it's upstairs, isn't it? PlayStation 4 still has 65 minutes to transfer a bunch of stuff over from my 2TB external to my internal, or... Yeah, I, th I think that's what's happening right now. Again, that stuff will be done by tomorrow. I'll be glad to like, upgrade to that 5TB hard drive. I wonder if the Xbox One can use multiple externals at once, because the PlayStation 4 can't do that for some reason. I could use that spare two terabyte on my three on my not three sixty on my Xbox One if it accepts more than one external at the same time, or I could just like use it separately. What the fuck? Yeah, I could just do that. Right here we go again. This time we're doing it for real. I had like no team points and not everybody was healed up when I started this, so I had to like go back and fix that. Red mother 65 HP. Ow, stop, stop! I'm getting tired of getting numbed. We gotta stop the small one from attacking so we can take care of this one. I think I might be overleveled for this boss, actually. I mean, it's only a three star, so I guess that makes sense. There we go. I was not mean to select that, but whatever. This did happen at the end of chapter 3. Yeah, I guess that's true. It has been a while, so yeah. It's not a tough boss fight, but I'm glad that I was able to, like, heal myself so that I could get my team points back. Would have been a pain in the ass to fight it without those team points. I mean, I could have imposed that challenge on myself, but I didn't feel like it. Yeah, I don't, don't even need to focus on that. I can just finish this now. Oh, that thing's still attacking me? Right, okay then. N wait, what? Okay then.
At least I still get a bunch of experience for that. We can maybe level up before we do the final area of the game. If I, like, do some of these side quests. There, that should do it. They you found out what caused the lockdown. It seems like the coronavirus was the issue. I mean, it seems like the midge was the issue. I see, we'll get rid of the eggs before more midges are born. Good work. Allow me to reward you for assisting the bee kingdom. Only 40? Right, okay then. You, you think I would get more than that? A hundred would have been nice. I mean, it's something. I'll take it, whatever. Well, we have lots to do, so let's get started. So it seems like there's something back there as well. Let me save real quick before I check that. There's like an extra door back there. Unless that's there for decoration. Turns out there is something back here. What is this? Where am I? Quick travel point. So wait, have I been in this tunnel before? I don't remember this. Far grasslands. Yeah, someone's gonna have to remind you, remind me exactly what this is in the world because I don't remember this spot at all. Oh wait, was this the forest? Right, okay, yeah. Now I remember. Again, memory of a goldfish sometimes. So that, that just like, give me an extra area to like, go to if I want to come back there quickly. Like an extra avenue to reach that spot. Right, okay then, so let me go and do another side quest once I heal myself up. Nope, just walk around that. Right, so it seems like the side quest board is also available here, so I'm going to go check that one out, rather than go back to the Ant Kingdom. Yeah, it's the same board. Right, so... I'm going to move the game window over a second so I can, like, read that because the chat window is obscuring it partially. So, let's see, any harder ones that I can maybe get more berries out of? There's a three star, there's a three... We've been tasked with like evaluating an explorer team wrecking havoc near the commercial area. We've helped they can get kind of violence, so we'd appreciate some backup. Where's the commercial area again? Are they talking about the Ant Kingdom's like shopping districts? Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, I think it's somewhere around here. I forgot exactly what it was, but somewhere in this general area. Stop! These items are not yours. Right, so I guess it's in this area then. Yeah, here we go. Huh? Are you saying we're liars? Explorers don't lie, you should check again! I know how to do my job, don't you dare try to swindle me! Team Snakemouth! What's the matter here? They're trying to steal Amber's items! We're not! Look at our permits! Would the Mackie approved team ever lie for some cheap items? That permit's a fake! What did you say? Uh, really? It's missing its crystals. You haven't noticed? This is obviously some cheap imitation. Thieves in a farce to boot? You will answer for your crimes. Good thing you're here. We had no idea. To heck with it. We'll just take them by force. Right. Optional boss fight. Spy the head honcho first. 30 HP, sin. What, you get called out and come at us with a stick? Like that would work on... Like that would work on something like a spider. Just give up already. Let's spy... This dude. Pesky. You're making this more difficult than it needs to be. The first step is being forgiven, is apologizing. Oof, that rock got me in the horn. That's it, I'm crushing you and your rocks. Oh shit, that's gonna block, uh, that's gonna block Kaboo. Right, there goes the rocks. Real explorers are this strong? Let's bail! Oh, okay then. Cowards. Drats, we let them get away. Oh, thank you, I can't do enough to repay you. Pay no mind to it, Miss Amber. Your service is already, already most useful. This is bad. They'll come back and harass somebody else. We have no idea where they would flee to, though. Their permits are fake, right? Maybe they'll try to steal a real one? We'll check out the area near the association, then. We shall as well. Let's get them with haste. The association... Where is that again? It's somewhere over there. Don't remember the exact spot. Also, I used up a lot of team points there unnecessarily. I was trying to kill them as quickly as possible. Welcome to the Termacades. You're new players, aren't you? Since this is our grand opening, here is something to get you started. 15 game tokens, so this is like an arcade thing then. You can check how many tokens you have in the key item menu. Have fun in Termacades! I, I didn't know this was even in the game, holy shit. Wow, there's a Flappy Bird game, there's um... Something to do with a crown, and then there's like a, a dungeon crawler, I think. Can I exchange these for prizes? Yeah, you can exchange tokens. Bag of flour. I guess, I guess that would be a good, a good ingredient. I 
I'm guessing these are badges. So what's the most expensive thing here? We've got most expensive things are these 120s. Oh wait, these aren't badges, these are like temporary items, consumables. Spicy fries. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, let's try these things out then. Let's try this one first. Might Night Flower Journey. Right, okay then. So I guess I need to get the high score then to get more tokens. Wait a minute. Oh wait, is this just high scores? So wait, is this, is this the game then? Oh, I see that. That one was just showing you the scores. These, these are the two of the actual games, right? About Flower Journey. In Flower Journey, you control Little Bee looking for pollen. You've got to avoid the wasps and logs by flying with the A button. You'll slowly earn score as you play and you can collect flowers. The more you get in the row, the better your score gets. Yeah, let's, let's try it then. It's basically Flappy Bolts. Watch me fail this in like fucking five seconds. So I don't know when this opened up, but it opened up at some point. Yeah, this is Flappy Bird. Flappy Bee. I mean, it's more forgiving than Flappy Bird, I can tell you that. Oh, so I like the broken... I don't know if you can see it, but I like the the broken like lines of pixels. Like one where the bee is and one on the other side of the monitor. That's kind of nice attention to detail. It's not exactly dead pixels, but it's like kind of like pretending that the monitor is like kind of like fucked up a little bit. Shit, I knew I was going to miss that there. Not sure how long I'm going to play this for. Maybe I can try to get that high score. What was that again? Was it like 10,000? I mean, I'm already like 10% of the way there. Okay, now it's starting to get a little bit tougher. Okay. Oh, come on. How was I supposed to avoid that? Come on now. Oh, hey, I got some tokens back. Right, cool. Right, so let's try this one then. The Might Knight. I'm guessing this is like a dungeon crawler. In Might Knight, you'll help the termite reach the top of the tower. Use up, down, left, or right to move around. If you hold down the A button, you can raise your shield to block the enemy attack and move without without turning. To attack the enemies, just press the up button in front of them. You'll earn points for beating them. You can drink potions to heal up when it gets rough, but most importantly, find the gold key in every floor and unlock the way upwards. This one sounds fun. So yeah, it's, it sounds like a dungeon crawler, essentially. If you get lost, wait for a bit and the compass will show up to help. Try to clear the game fast and without taking damage, that's the recipe for a high score. Right, let's try it then. I'm glad I found this by accident because I didn't realise this was a thing in this game. Oh hey look, it's bootleg Shovel Knight. Oh yeah, th this is cool. I like this. This is my gem. This is awesome, I like this. This is way better than that flappy people bullshit.
I'll grab that key in a second, just gonna get rid of this termite real quick. Oh, welcome back, pointless. Oh, you can strafe when you do that, right? Okay. Ah, shit. Yeah. But who's who's yeeting me about? That's not good. How do I heal myself? Do I have to find potions. I, t I took a lot of damage there, unfortunately. I was trying to figure out how to get around him there. Good. one to deal with that termite there because I had one hit left. At least I got some tokens back. Yeah, let's try that one more time then. Do I have enough tokens? Wait. Don't I? Oh, you need 25 for that one? Yeah, that's a lot. Right, let's get some more tokens then by doing this one. Yeah, it's clear, it's clear which one's the better of the two. This one's mundane as fuck. I mean, it's flappy bolt, what do you expect? Funny how much of a cultural impact that Flappy Bird had on people, for better or worse, for a short while. Not sure what that honey did there. I'm assuming I had invulnerability for a short while. So I think my points are building much quicker now because I'm still keeping this like combo going without missing one. Yeah, in fact my points are going up way quicker now. Shite! I see that you left the message there, Pointless. I'll read it as soon as I get a moment, because I can't really look at the chat while doing this. As boring and mundane as this is, you really have to, like, keep looking, I guess, and I'll fuck up if I talk like that. So, kind of thought about that game on Switch that was kind of like Punch-Out 3D. Uh, just want to say real quick, what's your favourite Mario power-up? That's a good question, actually. There's a lot of good ones. Um, the hammer suit is overpowered as fuck in Mario 3, but it's cathartic to use it for the little... for the very few times that game lets you have it. Um, but I don't know if that's my favourite. That's, like, one that I remember 
leaving a lot of impact on me because when you finally get your hands on it, you can see how powerful that thing is. I love the, the Tanuki, um, but I don't know if that's my favourite either. Again, there's, that's a very broad question because there's like a million power-ups and a million Mario games. But yeah, I do like the Tanuki, that one's fun. I'm going to have to think about that. I mean, I guess the Fire Flower is just like a good all-general, like all-purpose item because it's good to like keep your enemies at bay. So maybe I'll just say that. Yeah, I like the Fire Flower. You're Todd, right? We've been taking your request. Did you find my ball in the tunnel? Um, n no. I didn't do that, sorry. Right, so where are we going? It's the... It was, um, what was it called again? The Association? Was it this way? Did I save the game? Hang on. I may have forgotten to save. I think the association is this way, actually. Team Snakemouth, you picked up my quest? Is that bad? We'd like to help. No, I'm just uh, figuring out you were busy with more important stuff. Don't sweat it, if it pays, we will do it. Alright, thanks a lot. Your team is more reliable than I expected. The association is in the south. It's a pretty simple job, really. Just take this package. You got a package. What's in this? Don't open it, okay? Just deliver it. My friends a diver ant in the bug area appear east from the association. To reach it, just keep walking. You wanna pay us now, or is your friend gonna? She'll be wait she'll be waiting with a little something, no worries. Alright, we'll get going then. Good luck with the paperwork. So this is the association. I don't see any commotion in here. So I guess I'll go to the bug area up here then to get this delivered. I think the bug area up here is this way, maybe. Give it back. Huh, punk? EOP's mask, the leaf mask you stole. Yeah, we put that in the vault a long time ago. Even if we didn't, we're not gonna give it back now. Yeah, punk, what are you gonna do about it, huh? So I don't know what to give that guy. He's got like a... I kind of imagine he's got like a big dopey voice because he's like a thick boy. I, I beat you up. I'll really do it. Ha! You're gonna fight us, punk? Gonna hit us with your shaking legs? You ain't getting that mask back, worm. Just forget about it. Poor Mantis. I really can't do it. I will never get this back his mask like this. I'm gonna have to ask for help. Oh shit. God damn it. Right, so I guess that Mantis puts up like a, a request on the board now, so I'm going to have to go back to the request board and look for it. Or is it going to the association? Uh, these two, is it the association? You have to look around. Hey, you're back. Let's see how you've been doing with the medal of mine. 
Oh yeah, that's right, he gave me like a hot mo medal, didn't he? You haven't really defeated any hard-headed foes yet, have you? Fret not though, nothing is lost in this world, only found in different ways. That's how life works, eh? Come back later when you bonk some extra hard heads with that medal, will ya? I'm not, I'm not sure what he gives you when you do that, but I don't think I'm going to bother with that. I don't, I don't know where the pier is. I'm a little bit lost. Again, a map would have been nice. No, not this way. Yeah, someone remind me, how do I get to the Bulgaria Pier from here? Because I want to go and get that package delivered. They said go east, but east doesn't appear to be... I don't know, it looked like I was going the wrong way, but maybe it is this way? Uh, not, not this way. Um, this way. Right, well that Manta's gonna have to wait then. One thing at a time. You do go east, right. I, th I thought I was going the wrong way, honestly. That poor enemy getting fucking hit like, hit hat, like, constantly. Okay, so here's the pier. I'm not going to read this out loud, I'm just reading it to myself. Yay, learning. Exactly, V. Right, so... I don't know who I'm supposed to... Is it this person? That gear, are you by any chance Ito's friends? Aye, why? Something happened? Surprise, Sir Ito's got something for you. Package. Ah, he got the thing, finally. What is it? A super rare medal? Just a part to improve my gear. You gotta thank Ito for me. Why did he make such a big deal of it then? What matters is it's been delivered safely. What matters to the reward, Kabu? That's the important part. This should about cover the walk, thanks to you two. The crazy propelled medal prevents enemies from striking first out of battle. Right, okay then. We don't see why you would want to go underwater, but good luck with your gear. I was hoping for uh, berries, but okay then. Right, I guess I'll do the... Is there a, a side quest board here somewhere? Yeah, there is. There's one in sight. Also, look at this fucking guy, like a big pirate bug. Might as well take this opportunity to retire. Oh, okay then. I was hoping to get more dialogue out of this guy, but whatever. Nah. Shit, I'm pressing the A button way too many times. Some bandits took my friend's mask. I uh, really tried to fight them, but they're too strong. I just need some backup. Can someone meet me in the Ant Kingdom residential area? Wait, what was what's that person's name? Mun? Mun. Also, I noticed they're all speaking in, like, nautical speak. No thanks.
How much are the revived seats? 18. Right, so the Mantis should be up here somewhere. They said the residential area, didn't they? So it'll be somewhere around here. Maybe to the left or right. By the way, those bugs that those ants chase after are in the association. You have to dig to find them. Oh, is that a fact? I didn't even realise you could do that. Right, I'll go back to that then once I've accepted this dude's request. Just got to find the mantis. We saw your post. Wait, um, what was the request for this one again? Find my hat. Do I have a hat? Is this the hat? <laughs> this wouldn't look good on me, it's not my dear hat. Bed bug? Yeah, put the fucking bed bug on your head, that'll look good. Is this dude, does this dude have a weird... But I'm looking at his face, is he got like a fucking... Shit, what's that guy called, um, Squidward? Has he got like a Squidward nose, or has he just got a really big mouth? It's like, it looks like he's shouting, it's like he's going, ah! I guess he's got like a weird shaped nose, I'm, I'm not sure what to make of that one, but yeah. Right, let's uh... I, I think the Mantis might actually be outside the palace. I don't see him around here. Nope. He did say the Ant Kingdom residential area, didn't he? Is he inside the inn? Oh, who are you? I can feel it. The potential for the small inn to become a grand hotel. So many things to invest in first, though. Fucking rich buggo. Nope, he's not up here. Not inside this building, is he? Nope. Yeah, no idea where that termite disappeared. Uh, not termite. Mantis. I'm not sure where he disappeared to. Right, let's go to the association then, since I can't find him. So yeah, apparently they're hiding and need to pick them up, which I didn't know you could do that. Oh, I see it. Right, I didn't see that digging spot. Oh, that's something else entirely. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, um... Right, I'll tell you what, I'll get rid of clear water. That's cheap, I can replace that easily. I want to sell that dark cherry to get money. Oh, hey there, Rocky. I'm close to the end of the game now, but I don't think I'm going to do the end game tonight. I'm just doing some side quests. There we go. Easy money. Unfortunately, they don't sell clear water in here, so I'm gonna have to like... I think I've got a spare clear water inside storage. Yep, there we go. Can I organise my inventory? Because it's a little bit messed up now. No, I don't think I can organize this shit. At least I got a bunch of money easily there. Money I could have done with. At the fence.
Um, yeah, so, sorry for being a dumbass. I'm not sure what you mean by that. I'm looking, but I, I don't see what you're talking about. I'm in the right place, right? This is the association. Yeah, I'm in the completely wrong place, I feel like. No, sorry, I thought this was the association building, but um, I'm, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to dig. So what is this? I'm currently not at home if you leave me a message with a lovely... with the lovely ladybug next door. Alright, stop getting stuck behind things, please. Oh, there's a digging spot here. You are in the right place. Oh, wait a minute, I have to dig in the flowers? Hang on. No, I can't dig on flowers. How the fuck are you supposed to figure this out on your own? I mean, yeah, they tell you to go to the association, but how, how do you, like, figure out, okay, they're hiding here? I don't see any clues pertaining to that whatsoever. You have to cross the bridge. Stratos Delilah, how are you doing? Ah, Team Sneakmouth, we're doing fine. We're investigating the outskirts for secrets. Seems there is a place seedlings like to gather up ahead, but if you need to cross the river to reach it, uh, we don't have time to tr cross it. More mysteries await to be unveiled, so you'll just leave the area unchecked. Think of it as more of an opportunity for you to find out more about it. And by the way, I heard that there's a seed seedling haven and it's a great spot to find golden seedlings. But be careful though, golden seedlings are really strong and you shouldn't underestimate them. But they are known for carrying rare berries, so it's up to you to fight them or not. That might be a good way to make money, actually. Well, I can't say no to treasure, thanks for the tip. Yeah, I'm in the wrong place now. Yeah, I don't see any digging spots I'm looking. Hmm. on that. I mean, did, did I see... Wait a minute. Oh, you can go under that. I didn't realise you could, like, dig through there. Right, here we go. Sorry, I'm dumb. I, I didn't realise that was a thing. Yeah, sorry, you were, giving, you were giving me vague instructions and I was kind of lost on what you meant exactly. I, I misinterpreted the instructions, I guess. Hope you criminal dorks. How did you find us so fast? It's cause we're like explorers. Let's beat them into silence, then. Or sorry, that was um, the big one talking, not the little one. 
That's not necessary. Jin, you're a good job locating the frauds. We won't waste our breath negotiating. Yeah, let's just beat them up. Darn, they're too strong. What do we do? Just give up. There's no reason Mackie refused your application. What would you know? You're all just the Queen's lap bugs. No one has the right to tell us we can't explore her. I get how you feel, but the answer wasn't to become criminals. It was to train and become stronger so you could do dangerous stuff. Don't lecture us. We need to get stronger after this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Forgot to do that yet again. Fine. I'm running out of team points, but I can just finish them off the old fashioned way. Wrong button. Why did I target him? That was not who I was supposed to be targeting. Oh fuck! I I pressed I pressed right twice, but I guess I didn't press right the set like the second time there. Whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna win anyway, it seems like. Just, um, that was annoying that I did that by accident. I was trying to move the cursor twice so that I could, like, highlight the smaller one. And then, of course, that shit happens. Ah! Too, I'm, I'm pressing the button too late. There we go. Took long enough. Right, at least I don't have to worry about the rocks anymore.
there we go. I'm close to leveling up again, so that's good. Took long enough. I would have done that a lot quicker if, if I remembered to go back to the inn and like kill myself. Give it up, you're super outmatched. I mean, I had like very little team points and I still won that fight easily. You preachy bunch. You didn't notice our plan. Our escape route's clear. What the? <laughs> Is that a trap? You think they weren't that much of a pushover? You didn't notice our plan. Incredible, good work. We're gonna ship off these to be judged. Thanks for your help. Let's see. Confiscate the permit and... Huh. They had this on them. You should take it, Team Snakemouth. A lore book. Pleasure to help. We'll see you around. Good luck with your other quests. So I didn't get any money for that one, unfortunately. I mean, I got a lore book, but that, that was kind of pointless. Right, so... First things first, I'm going to heal myself, because I keep forgetting to go to the end to do that. I guess I'll try looking for golden seedlings, but let me go and store some items first. Oh. Don't want to start getting into conversations right now. Right, I'll try looking for a golden seedling and then see if I can get some money because I would like to buy that that house over there because there might be something good inside. So where did they? Where was the golden seedling thing? It was somebody down here that was talking about it. Up ahead in the outskirts is the Seedling Haven. It's just an area that seedlings like to gather in. Don't know why, but it seems like it's easier to find golden seedlings there. Right, okay, thank you. Sometimes I'm a bit, like, bad at retaining information. So yeah, apparently golden seedlings show up more often in this area. Or, like, maybe not this exact area, but somewhere further up. You need a leaf. Oh, wait a minute, I need to cross the water. Okay, never mind. Not sure if I've been in here yet since I got the ability to dig. I took the wrong turn at Albuquerque. This is just Snake Mouse Den, isn't it? But what's this? Spicy berry, a blazing hot berry that boosts an ally's attack for two turns. Okay. Oh, crystal berry. Nice. Yeah, so I think I went too far. I'm going to go back.
Right, so yeah, I probably did pass it. I'm just gonna keep looking until I find like an area that looks like I can use Leaf in. See, it looks like you can get over there somehow, but maybe that's just there for decoration that way. here for a nap. Oh, you can get free healing here. Okay. I think that's the only place in the game where you can do that. Okay. For fuck's sake. Fuck it, don't feel like fighting these guys. Okay, this part I can go in. I was trying to look for an opening somewhere so I could like go in the river. Because you saw that one bit that I looked at earlier, but that part I couldn't like go in the water for some reason. This part works fine. Right, there we go. I'm guessing the seedling haven is in there. Let me just look around, see if there's any like items or chests or anything. No. Right, okay then, let's go inside. So yeah, I think I'm going to hold off on going to the giant's land until next time I stream this because I'm pretty sure that's going to be like near, like very close to the end of the game and I would like maybe rather wait to do that. Oh, we got an optional boss over here. King Seedling. Seedling King, close enough. By the Golden Mint Settlements, clear water. Seedlings can mature into such behemoths. It's constantly spawning reinforcements, stopping me from reaching it. I will do my best to clear those small ones while my team works from a distance. Wait, really? I, I thought I could attack that. What? I don't... What? Can I do under strike? Okay, that works. Nice. Deliberately skip that thumbnail so we can get three more turns for free. So, wait a minute. 
how I can do my regular attacks with the other two characters, so I'm gonna run out of team points. Unless I'm missing something here. What do? Let me see what Leaf had to say about this. A king size seedling B can we keep it? What? No. Keep spawning mini seedlings. It's a cuteness factory. Let's try to keep the small ones at bay while we defeat this one. That doesn't really answer my question though. But I see that it's carry being carried by small ones, but how do I get rid of the small ones? That's what I don't understand. Because I can't directly attack that without wasting SP or MP or whatever it's called in this game, TP, for my bunghole. Like, only V can attack it directly, but that's like one out of three people, so that's not going to work too well. You have to damage it enough. This is going to take a while. Yeah. I mean, I could do that, it just means reduced attack though, but I can still do two and I can still do one. Oh, wrong, wrong thing. Don't you love it when in JRPGs they don't remember the fucking enemy that you were focusing on the last turn? Hang on a minute. Ah, shit. I'm trying to do something, but I can't. Fine, I'll just do my three attacks from back there. I guess I do more attack if I'm, like, at the front, so that's not gonna work. I didn't realise V's, like, beamerang attack damage output depends on how far away you are from the from the target. 
Okay, now, now it's like, now it's fighting me. Shit. I forgot about that rule. Oh hey there, Cray. I'm in the middle of doing like an optional boss fight. I'm doing some side quest stuff because I'm almost at the end of the game, but I'm not going to do the end game tonight. Because I would imagine the end game takes like two to three hours. This is a bounty boss. Well, that reward is bound to be good. Yeah, that was a terrible joke. I'm, I'm really... I have bountiful good jokes. Yeah, may as well turn relay this one. I'm not focusing on the smaller enemies because they do like pittance of damage, so I'm just gonna like focus on the boss itself. Get that out of the way. Close. Oh no no no! Okay, I thought they were gonna like kill V there. Yeah, maybe, maybe in V you should stay back. I do love that turn relay system. It opens up for so much more like strategy to like, to the turn based battle system. Again, good example of the turn melee system at its finest. Right, now I just need to kill these guys. There we go. Is that enough to level me up? Just almost, not quite. So that's a bounty boss, I got a crystal fruit, whatever that is. Is that a key item? Yeah, I think that's a key item. A mysterious crystal shaped like a fruit found after defeating a seedling king. I'm gonna go back to that old guy so I can get some free healing.
Yeah, that old guy's quite far away, isn't he? Or, wait, what? Did I, did I go the wrong way again? Fucking hell, what is wrong with me in this game sometimes? It's like, I think I'm going the right way, but I'm not. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking for that old guy that I can, like, get free healing from. That's where I'm going. But I, I guess I took the wrong turn at Albuquerque for, like, the 50th time in this game. Don't give a shit to pick up that solitary berry. It's not worth it. There's a rumour going around that there's going to be a Nintendo Direct in July, but I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Because I feel like we're getting into this, like... Uh, what, what do you call it? Like a cycle of just, like, hyping up for news of something that doesn't exist. Is the old guy down this way? Yeah, there he is. I did take the wrong turn at Albuquerque. Right, okay then, so... Just heal up and then I'm going to go back there again just to see what was inside that area. How much money do I have? 90? I'm just ignoring these enemies because they're, like, they'll give me, like... Actually, you know what? They'll still give me one experience point, regardless of their level, so if I just beat, like, two of these guys, or, like, you know, well... If I beat two groups of these guys, I'll level up, because I'm, uh, I'm like two experience points away from leveling. But yeah, the reason people are thinking there's going to be a, a Direct in July is because this one guy is like, oh, there's going to be a Nintendo Direct in July, and it happened, as it turns out, he predicted the, the Direct Mini back in March, like he predicted, he predicted it like about a month beforehand. Oh yeah, that's right, speaking of Directs, so the Devolver Digital Direct happening, I will have to, I, I, I want to stream it, but I don't know what time it's happening at, I'm gonna have to look into that. Yeah, let's kill this one. Right, that's perfect, there's only one enemy. I want to stream it though, I love Devolver's like, presentations they do. I'm glad they're doing one this year. Like, I don't really care about the announcements, I just like the fucking skits and shit that they do. Like, they're really hilarious. I'm gonna get some more team points. Which is basically this game's equivalent of the flower points from Paper Mario or magic points, or whatever you want to call it, but yeah, same diff. Oh, went too far. Right, let's go back into that one spot then, the, the seedling haven. You know, I haven't played that Devolver bootleg game, I really should. Like, would that be something worth streaming? Because I think I own it, like, uh, Deej gifted me it at some point, but I never got around to playing that. Somebody mentioned to like cut all the bushes, so I'm doing that, or at least I'm trying to if these guys could leave me alone. Ah! Are you kidding me? Oh, so I think I glitched the music. Um... I'm, I'm sorry, what? I, I, can't, I can't even get a moment to get away from them. That 
that was weird. I, I don't know what the fuck happened there, but I was stuck for a moment and the music has glitched. It's still <laughs> it's still playing the battle music, but it's like really quiet now for some reason. That's a that's a weird glitch. Oh. I'm wasting so much money right now. Yeah. Right, so let's see. I'm, I missed a couple messages. Don't forget to drop off the crystal berry. Where do I put that again? Is that like back at HB's lab? So wait a minute, where, where's the golden... You said something about a golden sapling. Am I in the right place? Yeah. Okay, I'm starting to get sick of these guys now. Again, there's a glitch with the music. I'm not sure why it's doing that. The music is supposed to be much louder than this for anyone wondering. Okay, I think I fixed the music now. Oh no, it's playing the battle music again! I, I broke the game's music, guys. I don't know what the fuck is happening. This is not- th this song's not supposed to be playing. It's supposed to be the overworld music that's playing. I have no idea how I did that, but I did it somehow. Oh, there's golden seedlings, right, cool. A golden seedling, 4 HP. Incredible, this is this is the golden seedling of legends. It brings fortune, health, and love if one can beat it. So you, you can't see it on the overworld, you have to actually like fight regular ones till you see them appear. That's how this works. It has unholy defenses, not even my piercing horn can get through. I need to think of a way to prevent its escape while, and while we whittle it down. So wait, his uh, piercing attacks will not work? I'm gonna try it anyway. No. off shit <sighs> all that effort so yeah piercing does zero but I can, I can just like hit them the old-fashioned way I mean, at least I got one of them, but I'm still a little bit salty about that. Oh yeah, look how much experience I got from that one. A tangy berry. I wonder if they drop any of those black berries, because those would be nice. Yeah, so the music's still broken. I think I'm gonna have to... Yeah, I don't, I don't think I need these items. I'm, I'm gonna hold on to them for now, but... This battle music is still playing. It's starting to get on my nerves a little bit. Right, I think it's fixed now. Right, here we go. Yeah. 
I don't think this is gonna work, but I'll try it anyway. Oh, it does work, right, cool. I thought him, like, trying a second attack would have not worked as well. There we go. God, you get a lot of experience for one of those things. Relatively speaking, of course, but yeah. I guess I have to like keep coming out and back until they respawn. So, um, can you tell me when, like, I forgot which day it is, when is that Devolver thing happening? Like, what day and what time? You can give me the time in, like, Eastern Standard or whatever, and I can, like, calculate that myself. Just so that I can figure out if I'm able to, like, stream that day and, like, stream that thing. Yeah, these things are not coming back. Maybe I have to, like, just completely leave the area and come back. Myself. Hang on. Right, one moment. I'm just looking it up real quick. I hope I'm not dropping frames by loading this website up. I'm trying to get the information. Apparently it's 3pm. Also, don't you fucking love, like, these stupid journalist video game websites that fucking autoplay videos? Isn't that the best? Yeah, because I totally want to fucking look at a video that's, like, gonna drain my, my bandwidth resources. Thanks, GameSpot. Anyways, it says 12pm Pacific according to their Twitter account, so... One second, Google... 12 p.m. Pacific to BST, which is British summertime. 8 p.m. Yeah, I could probably stream at that time. Right, okay, sorry, I just had to make sure. Yeah, I could probably do that around that time. Drop that crystal berry. Where, where do I even drop that again? Oh no, U block isn't the issue. Like, I've got U block on, or like, I've got an ad block on, but um, the problem is that doesn't stop these autoplay adverts from playing. At least, not that I can tell anyway. It's like, I hate journalist websites that have got like a fucking video embed and it just like plays it without your consent. I hate that shit. Because one, that's intrusive, and two, if I'm like using my internet for something else, I don't want that shit happening. Okay, here we go. Yes, yeah, so I can just keep fighting these guys until I level up again. Yep, 
Yeah, it's quite easy, actually. How did this game compare to the first two Paper Mario games? It feels like a Paper Mario game. I have criticisms with the game, like in terms of like the story and the dialogue. Like it gets a little bit dialogue heavy here and there. And sometimes that puts me off, but I, I, the gameplay is really good. Like there's a, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's like a turn relay system and basically what that does is you can pass like a spare turn to somebody else. Like for example, I can do that. And then I can do that. So now V has three turns. But you have a disadvantage where each passing turn, your attacks go down by one. So you only use that as like a like a strategy. Like if you need to like use flying. See, V can deal damage to flying enemies, whereas Kabu, this one, can only attack ground enemies. So if you have like three flying enemies, you can like make V deal with all three of them at once and like ground them basically so I like that sense of like strategy to this game it's pretty good uh, I'm gonna run from this fight there's no golden seedlings oh shit ah I forgot that that was not Paper Mario for a second I tried spamming the A button Oh yeah, they're bringing back badges. I did see, like, there was a couple of screenshots that they released that showed you, like, the badge system. So that's, like, a nice way to, like, augment your party. I'm still wondering if experience is something in the game, because they haven't really shown any of that. So I'm still concerned about the lack of experience. But damn it. Shite. Mm. I mean, I'll try fighting it, but if it runs away, I'm gonna run away as well. Okay, in hindsight, I didn't realize I did that a little bit too quickly. I didn't realize I killed the other two. Wasted TP there, but whatever. I don't care. What's important is that I kill it. There we go.
unfortunately they don't appear to be dropping those uh, like dark berries that I was trying to get. Like the dark cherries rather. Because those things sell for like 50 berries a piece and those are like really expensive. Do one more of those seedling things just so I can level up. Wow, really? I have to go all the fucking way back into the Ant Kingdom. I can't like just go a couple screens away and come back. Oh yes, yeah, so I got around to watching episode one of Pokemon Journeys, which is like the English dubbed version of that new Pokemon series. I mean, I've watched like the first, I don't know, roughly 15 to 20 episodes of it subbed. But I wanted to watch the English dub anyway, just to see the differences. It seems like despite the fact that 4Kids are no longer dubbing Pokemon, they're still doing some... Let's just say 4Kidisms. Specifically, the soundtrack is different, like they've changed the music. But I could tell that immediately with like episode 1. I'm not, I'm not sure how to feel about that, like yeah, I, can, I get it, but at the same time... There was nothing wrong with the soundtrack to begin with, so it's like, why change that then? Because four kids have been like, four kids were particularly infamous for like changing the soundtrack. Oh, that's weird. Is he going to fall in the water as soon as that breaks? Yep. <laughs> but yeah, no, the, the first episode, the one with like Pikachu's backstory and like go seeing Mew. Like that, that was the episode that I watched. I'll watch episode 2 later tonight, I think, because it's like the first 12 episodes are on Netflix. Um, th these, these guys are not coming back, what the fuck? Oh yeah, I saw the newest Twilight Wings as well, thanks for reminding me, Cray. I saw the newest one today, the one about Alistair. Which, I, I saw that character in like promotional material, but I had no idea where to find her in Pokemon Sword. Turns out, she's not in Pokemon Sword at all, she's shield specific. So that explains why I missed her in that game, she's like one of the gym leaders for shields. And Bay is like specific to Pokemon Sword, which is the one we saw, like the fighting type gym leader. So yeah, I had, I had no idea about Alistair. Like beyond like seeing a picture of what that character looks like. But yeah, that was a good episode of Twilight Wings, I liked that one. It wasn't so much about Alistair as it was about, like, this kid in the hospital or something, but it did feature one of the gym leaders because every episode of Twilight Wings features a gym leader. So we did get to see a little bit of Alistair in that. But yeah, um, it was a decent episode. I do like the Twilight Wings spin-off. The animation style was really nice. Alistair's a guy? Oh, I thought it was a girl. Kinda hard to tell when they've got that mask on their face. I mean, they seem very feminine, like when you look at their bodies, so I just made the assumption it's a woman. But, alright. Right, so now that I've napped, maybe now these seedlings will finally respawn. I'm going to wrap up very shortly, I've been streaming for nearly 5 hours now, but I'm going to see if I can at least level up one more time. Oh god damn it, what, what is... Yeah, you know what? 
gonna reload the game. If that doesn't fucking get them to reappear, I don't know what will. I'm just reloading the Steam game because I'm playing this on Steam. Like, this game is on Switch, but I backed this game on Indiegogo over a year ago and I got the Steam key for it. This was before the Switch version got announced. Otherwise, I would have this on Switch. Right, so let's see if it shows up now. Uh, nope. Golden seedlings are rare. Yeah, but then you see like three of them at once. Or you, you like see three enemies at once. Yep. I was debating with myself whether or not to do Pokemon Swords DLC tonight, or do this game. So I decided to do this game. I'm going to do Pokemon Swords DLC tomorrow, I think. See if I can finish the Isle of Armor stuff. Is that far enough away game? Can I can those things respawn now if I go back? I deliberately went as, uh, quite far away there that time just to see if those things will finally reappear now if I go back there. Speaking of Pokemon stuff, don't know if you saw this, but there's a data mine for returning Pokemon in Crown Tundra. Yeah, well that's that's to be expected to be honest. I mean they did that with the uh, with the Isle of Armor. Is Snivy going to come back? Because that's like the Pokemon I want the most right now. Snivy's cool. Oh, wrong way. The place, place you can drop off the Crystal Berry is near the shop, so it would be this way then. Gen 3 Pokemon. Yeah, well, I'm not really... Sadly, that's not a generation I have interest in. What is this? That, that's a lot. You see, you see that? There's a lot of berries up there. What is this? First time here, aren't you? Welcome, I offer banking services here. Annoyed when your wallet is full and no longer have space for that berry? I mean, I've never run into that problem in this game at all, but okay. Get some interest. Nah. Yeah, we can store your money for you, but you've got to pay us money first to store your money. So I've got to... hang on, what was that you said, MSP? You have to use the cut grass to get to it. Attack time for Mill to make mistakes again. As I always fucking do on these streams. Oh wait, is it back here you're talking about? Oh yeah, this dude, I forgot about him. Right, so... At least I think it was this person? Wait. 
can't get money for this. I can only exchange berries for other things. Boost an ally's defense by one, but reduce their attack by one. Uh, increase an ally's defense while poisoned by one. Nah. No, not really interested. Talk to the bartender. All oh, right, he uh, he he like helps you, uh, not help you, he, like get reward you for bounties. I forgot about this. Sorry, it's been a while since I've been in this area. I mean, this is like a nearly 30 hour game. That's the genuine deal, here's your rewards. TP core medal, party recovers 2 TP for every 2 turns, that's okay I guess. Depends on how many I get for that. Right, so I'm going to wrap up very shortly, but we'll do one last thing. I'm going to quickly get... what's in here? Lore book. I'm going to get... I need to get one berry real quick. So that I can buy that thing that was 150 berries. It's probably not going to be worth it, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to commit to it, but I need to first get money. Just need one berry. I'm one berry short. I'm also going to level up if this uh, seedling has returned. I wonder if it's back now. That's fine, at least it wasn't a golden seedling. Time to waste all my fucking berries on these pieces of shit. Why won't the game give me what I'm fucking looking for? Game please? Game please! Booty, please play DMC2 is best game! Please! That's my best impression of that booty voice. It's like diminishing returns, it feels like, or sunken cost. Well, there's some berries. Ah. Nope, not finding any golden seedlings this time. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm very close to levelling up anyway, so I'm just going to fight these guys as individual groups. Like five or six of these groups should do it. 
so we'll be here for a little bit longer than I anticipated, but it shouldn't take me too long. Okay, well, eight groups of enemies. Yeah, sorry this has taken a while, guys. I, I wish the AI was... Not the AI, but the, the RNG was nicer to me and would give me one more golden seedling. Doesn't seem like it's going to be doing that. Not this time, anyway. I've never played Devil May Cry 2, but after watching Vinny do like a one-off stream of it, I don't think I want to. It looks kind of boring. Like all the bosses that he fought during the two to three hours that he streamed that game look extremely uh, HP spongy. Like they take like a fucking goddamn millennium to like defeat it feels like. Like I felt exhausted just watching him trying to beat the bosses in Devil May Cry 2. I'm still considering picking up Devil May Cry's 1 and 3 for Switch, but I've already got the trilogy on 360, so it's like... I, I kind of wish Capcom would stop nickel and diming people, you know? Like, why not just sell the trilogy as like a bundle for like $40 or... Well, not even $40, sorry, $20. But now they have to like go and sell each game for like $20 each. Again, nickel and diming strategies. Like, Capcom thinks the Switch owners are fucking stupids. I'll buy Devil May Cry 1 and 3 on Switch when the discounts for individual games are deep enough. Like if I can get them at like sub $10 each, I'll probably buy them then. Right, so I'm not going to level up tonight, but what I can do is get these berries. There we go, we've got 151. That should be enough. The only Devil May Cry game I've ever played was Devil May Cry 5. I played that last year because I got that game through Game Pass, and that was a really fun game to play through. So I would like to play through 1, I would like to play through 3, I've heard 4 is good as well. I don't know if I'll play that re that weird reboot thing, the one with like the Edgelord Dante, the, the one, like the millennial version with like the weird hairdo, like I don't think I'll bother with that one. But I'd probably play 1, 3, and 4, uh, 1, 3, and 4, yeah. Not gonna even touch two with a 50 foot pole. I mean, they're doing the same with Resident Evil because you can get Resident Evils 4, 5, and 6 on the Switch for like, I don't know, 20, 30 dollars each. I don't know the exact price tag, but then you can like buy 4, 5, and 6 as a discounted bundle on the PlayStation 4 and I think on the Xbox One as well. Again, they, th they think like the Switch ecosystem and its users are idiots basically. It's like, oh, the Switch is like this big popular thing and a lot of people are playing it. But it's like Nintendo people, it has a completely separate ecosystem from PlayStation and Xbox. Let's fucking scam them! They won't fucking know any better. But yeah, that's, that's something that I hate about like, just companies when it comes to like, Switch. It's like, oh, we, we can get away with this shit, or at least we think we can.
Again, I own a physical copy of uh, Devil May Cry HD Collection on 360. I got that for like less than ten dollars at a thrift store, so it's like... Why do they think it's acceptable to like sell those games for like twenty dollars each on Switch? It's just, it's like, I get it, but at the same time, it's like, how, how do I explain this? It's like, the people like put artificial like inflation on prices just because it's on Switch. Like, I feel like that's like the Switch tax, that's what people call it. I feel like they're just like trying to take advantage of the Switch tax. It's like, oh, because like, it's the big hot thing right now and you can play it portably. We're just going to add an extra $10 on that. Go fuck yourself. Just like 2K is adding an extra $10 to PlayStation 5 games. I don't know if anyone heard about that. I think I brought it up briefly yesterday. But yeah, I hope EA and other companies don't take their example and like start charging next gen games for like 70 bucks. And then have the goal to fucking put microtransactions in on top of that. Anyway, I'm almost done leveling up now. Taking a bit longer than expected here, but we'll be done very shortly. I'm going to see if those uh, seedlings are back now. Probably not. It is a sleazy practice. I agree with that. Nope, didn't think so. Okay, that was weird. I couldn't get that to work there for a second. Anyway, I've run out of things to talk about now. Again, I'll be wrapping up within like 10 minutes. I'm just gonna finish leveling up here and then I'm gonna buy that thing that I saw for 150 berries. I think I need to defeat two more groups of enemies to level up one or two more. Right, time for a big brain moment, watch this. Gonna give V another turn. Gonna knock that one down. Right, here comes the big brain moment. Dash through. Yeah! Get fucked all you guys! Except for that one. But that's fine, I got rid of most of them in one fell swoop. There we go. Right, one more fight. I know this is like mind numbingly boring to watch right now, but wait, what's the what's the perk for that one? No, never mind, that's not good. It's kind of a shitty item that one. I know this is mind numbingly like boring to watch, but blame the RNG for not giving me more gold seedlings to like level up quicker.
Took long enough. Rank up! Right, so I think I'm going to get more team points. I'm quite happy with the, the health points that we've got right now, and I don't think I need any more badge points. So I'm just going to get more team points instead. Right, final thing on the agenda for tonight. Let's go and... Let's go back to the... What was that again? Defiant Root? Or was it Golden Settlement? I think it was Defiant Root. Yeah, it was Defiant Root. We're going to go back there real quick to buy that house. And then we're going to stop after we see what's inside said house. I don't exactly know where to go to do that card game thing. Like, I know MSP was trying to tell me where to go, but I couldn't exactly understand, like, the, the directions that I was given. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Like, next time I stream this, I'm going to use a walkthrough to figure out where I'm supposed to go with that. And we can do the card game thing next time. So we'll do that then. We're not doing that tonight. Yeah, I always walk... Dip. Stop walking me, please, Ant. I always walk by this spot without realising it. Wait a minute, what did I... What did I just do? Did somebody, did somebody want to explain what just happened there? I wasn't paying attention. I thought I asked for a lift. Um... Did I glitch the game or did he just escort me somewhere? Oh. I think I talked to the wrong person. I did. Sorry, I vain, I vain blooded that really fucking hard. Let me say that again so that you can understand what the fuck I'm saying. I vain blinded that really hard. I talked to the wrong person and I genuinely thought I broke the game for a minute there. I'm tired. <laughs> you, can, you can tell I'm tired when I do shit like that. Give me a second to think. Yeah, there was, there was somebody here, wasn't there? I think it was in... Where is it? I think I went past it. It's not this room. Yeah, this person. Right, there you go. This better be worth it. Right, thank you, here's the key. You got the flower key. This key is to the red house in the Ant City main plaza. I bought from... Bought from Betel... Bet, Bet, Betty? At a discount. Betty. You really helped me out when I can fund my next project with this. It was nice helping you. Yeah, she looks pissed. If it gets off the ground, you three can come in for free. For real. Really? Yeah, I never forget a favour. Take care, okay? Kabu looks quite happy. Mm-hmm, it's good to not be homeless anymore. I'm not sure if I ended up getting all the war books yet. I probably missed a dozen or so, but I can cash in my books right now. I'll do that real quick. I got like two or three books tonight. Two books. Yeah, that's not... Um... Let's see, I've got eight books sitting there. Though it looks like there's space for another, I don't know, six or seven books. It's probably not going to be happening. I'm not going to bother reading the lore books. I'm not really in the mood right now to read the lore. Right, so let's finally see. I, I waited long enough for this. Let's see what's inside that house. There might be something cool in there.
I'm ready to be disappointed though. Alright, well it seems like there's not something inside the house, but there's something above it. Found a charge up medal. Grants Leaf the charge up skill, which boosts an ally's attack by one their next attack. Stacks three times. Eh, that's alright I guess, but I don't have the badge points for it sadly. But maybe I can work toward that. Let's see how many uh, badge points that requires. Two badge points and I have... Zero. Shit. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that Kabu has this badge equipped. I mean, that's okay, I guess. That's fine if the V can't do anything. I keep forgetting that Mighty Pebble is like an option I have. Do I need to? Re can I remove? Can I remove anything that uh, I don't need? Let's see. Nah, I think we're good. Alright, okay then, so I'm gonna stop here. Let me just, uh, before we stop, actually, uh, yeah, let's just stop here, actually. I was gonna do something, but nah. I've been streaming for like five hours at this point, I'm gonna stop at this spot, so... Next time we play this, we'll do that card game thing. I'll look for that uh, walkthrough, see if I can figure out where that is exactly. Because I haven't done the card mini game yet, so I don't, I don't, I would, uh, I would at least like to check that before I get to the end game, and then we'll do the end game after that.